Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another day of reading. In reading today, we're going to look back at our story, Ish, and we're going to decide what the problem and solution were in the story. Remember, the plot of a story often includes a problem and a solution. The problem is something that goes wrong or causes trouble. In our graphic, this is represented by the emoji making the uh-oh face. The solution of the story is how it is fixed or solved. In this graphic, that's represented by the smiling emoji. Now, the author does not always come right out and just tell you what the problem and solution are, but we can use our inferencing skills by looking at the text clues and using what we already know to figure out what they are. Let's look back at some pages in our story and see if we can figure out the problem. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. <laughs> what is that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. Hmm. After reading that, I was thinking, I know I would feel upset if somebody made fun of my drawings. Leon sure causes trouble by making fun of Raymond's drawing. He makes Raymond feel bad about his art. That's a problem. That must be the problem in our story. Raymond feels badly about his art. If I wanted to represent this problem in a picture, I could draw the situation with Raymond and his brother Leon. In my picture, Leon is laughing at him, and Raymond is looking sad about his drawings. Now that we've identified the problem, let's look back and see if we can figure out what the solution to the problem was. To solve the problem, it has to make Raymond feel better. As we read these pages, think about what helps him feel better. Let's read. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish. Raymond looked closer. He studied the drawings and began to see them in a whole new way. Hmm. They do look ish, he says. Wow, as he sees them in a whole new way, it seems like he's starting to realize it's okay his drawings aren't just right. Raymond felt light and energized. Thinking Ishley allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out, without worry. Well, I know it feels good to be able to do something you love without worrying it's perfect. I think the solution is that he stopped worrying about doing it perfectly. If I wanted to show this solution in a picture, I could draw this, him drawing freely, without worry. And just like that, we figured out the problem and solution. We looked at the pictures, the text, and used a little bit of what we already know. Thanks for learning today. See you later.